what is going on here? How can I enter into this patient's experience of their, of their work, of their performance, and help them with this painful problem? It's, it's an enormous subject. You rarely come to courses that have much to do with it. Most of the time, people take for granted that what Descartes said is true. But the limitations to what Descartes told us are four. The pain is in the <clears throat> pain in the absence of tissue. You can get pain in the absence of tissue. You get phantom pain. A person doesn't have a right hand, but they have all kinds of pain in their right hand. And they, they feel their right hand. There's no right hand there. The, the Cartesian view doesn't account for anything here. It does not tell us what's going on. Pain after, after neuro, uh, neurolysis, uh, neurolysis of peripheral nerves. They started cutting nerves uh, after, the second, after the Civil War. One thing very important that happened in the 1860s was this. Pain was downgraded from a perception, which meant that it had to do with everything around us, to a sensation. It was downgraded to a sensation. Pain's just a sensation. It's like a taste. It's like hot or cold. The medical science downgrades pain from perception to sensation. This is all in the book, The Culture of Pain, by David Morris. And predictably, within 50 or 60 years, we've got an epidemic of chronic pain because we're looking at it very differently. We've looked out of the periphery, and all of a sudden, we figure, well, if the guy's got painful, nervous irritation, we just cut the nerve. Do you know that this doesn't work especially well? We're aware of that now, although it continues to be done. We know why that would probably not help at all. Pain with non-noxious stimuli. Non-noxious stimuli. People can hurt, and there is no evident noxious stimuli going on whatsoever. There is, in fact, no injury. Is it possible to hurt without an injury? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's perfectly possible to hurt without an injury. And people hurt all the time without an injury. Is it possible to have an injury and not hurt? Absolutely. Yet, working in the venues that many of us work in, we often hear, well, you're really hurting, you must really have an injury. Because they think there's a linear relationship between the amount of damage done and the amount of pain perceived by the person. There is no linear relationship. That would be nice, but it doesn't work like that. 